Okay, I want to show you. This is my mobile paracord working station deal. If I want to go to my family's house or friend's house and somebody wants me to make them a necklace, well then all I need are these things here. And I'll take my paracord jig that I made the other video with and I'll take that with me too. And you can throw all these things in your trunk. But this is what I take with me. And I can just pick these things up right here and I can carry it. The briefcase has my string in it. And this has all my little things to make stuff with. All little beads and so on and so forth. And I'll open it up and show it to you. Okay, here's the briefcase. I'll open this up first. This has all my strings and stuff in it. I'm going to try to wrap them around whatever if I can. If I have something to wrap them around with. Here I've got all these different kinds, colors. And then I've got also these other kinds right here that I'll get into because I make the little necklaces. Like, uh, take a little necklace out. Well, oh, this one right here, like I make this little necklace right here, I'll, I'll use this little strings. Plus, also, if I'm making a paracord cross or something, I'll use this to make the necklace with, this other type of string. And also, I use like a little magnifying glass sometimes if I'm really looking down, because when I make these right here, I need to look down in there. I need to look down in there and see what's going on sometimes. So this really helps out. And this little gizmo that I've got over here has got all my little luxury stuff in it to make everything with. I got a little tape, tape measure here, a little 12 foot. And I usually, uh, you know, I like the locking mechanism on it because I can measure out whatever I need and cut it. You need to have that. A really nice pair of scissors. Get you a really nice pair of scissors because paracord is a little bit tough to cut. And you need a uh, and I like using these right here also for whenever I uh, making these ones right here with a little like a heart through, through here you can use these and you can work through there once you've already got it made and you open up and grab your string and pull it through and that's what you do to make this right here okay now also what I carry here is like little beads for like the little necklaces like such like this right here little beads I got different kinds of little beads also. Super glue. I like using this kind right here. Regular super glue, it's always a mess. You know, you can't, it dries back up on you and it's a mess. This right here, you can reuse, oh, pop open the lid and it works just fine. So that, that's pretty good. And I've got this other kind of super glue bond. And, uh, and then right here, I've got like these little containers that carry your black tape in. And then I've got little, you know, for keychains and such like that. For stuff like this right here. Make a keychain like so, with these other little types of deals. You can make a big ring or small ring or whatever color you want. And then right here, I use like a steel nylon coated wire for like fishing and stuff. And what I use that for is for bracelets like this right here where you've got to put that little wire in there and you can you know tie those on there now there's also other little stuff like in here if I open this up I've got little you can use little rings if that's what you want to do there's these little tiny rings like that and there's gold ones and silver ones and all this stuff but this is what I've got in here different clips different little things hearts you know here's little uh, little hope deals there pretty cool uh, just a variety of stuff in here crosses and you know, stuff like that that you can put on these necklaces and, uh, and these work out really well they divide everything up for you really good so uh, anyway that's what I use that for and then in here I've got lettering lettering and stuff for uh, ones that have letters you know, like these here, or bracelets that I've got that make that I put letters in. Now I've got a deal on Facebook that's called Nashville Paracord, and I've got all of these pictures of all this stuff on there. If you want to go on there and add me, and you can see this creations, not be friends or whatever. I just want to show you what I've got. I don't really care. I mean, you're not going to get rich making this stuff. It's good anything for anybody. Mostly just for friends and whoever family wants to see it. And at the bottom here, I've got a. The little clips and uh, these are all the little clips right here different clips and stuff now then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this one here because I need I need these I need two of these whenever I'm making these necklaces right here because I've got to tie it off to myself and 
and uh, to the wall or something, or doorknob. But if you go on to uh, Nashville Paracord or even right here on YouTube and ask me about these, I can tell you where to get these at. And there's a really good deal. There's like pink, there's two different pinks. There's black, brown, uh, white. And it does really good whenever you're making necklaces and stuff like that, that you want to make everything the same color. But what I usually do whenever I'm making uh, when I'm making these ones right here, these little necklaces, I have to have this tied off to me. So I'll usually put the string in here like so, and I'll tie it off to where I'll be tied off like this, to where this is really taut. And I'll tie the other end, I'll tie this other end off to the, like I said, a doorknob or the wall. I've got it fixed here, I can't show you it, but uh, and then this will be straight, and then I'll be, my hands will be free and I'll be able to tie whatever little knots whenever I'm making these these uh, heart cross necklaces. But that's how I get those done. I need to make a video on that. It's just so many steps in it. You gotta put the cross together and then you gotta add a necklace to it and then just keep on going from there and adding and adding and adding. Now and also, whenever you're making these cross necklaces and stuff like that out of paracord and people make stuff, they, they finish off with a necklace with making paracord in the necklace. Now I think it's just a lot better if you get this other types of string, these nylon strings from like Hobby Lobby or Michael or something like that. And then you make it like this and it looks so much better, I think. I mean it's just your preference, but uh, that's my thing there. And of course a lighter, I didn't show you a lighter here, you need to get to have a lighter. And uh, basically that's it, I just wanted to show how I make my... Uh, start the crosses off. I usually go like this. Everybody has their own deal, but I usually just go like this. I just loop it. I just loop, loop. Got small strings here, whatever else. It looks kind of hard. But I just loop them together like so. So, and then if this is at the top of the cross and people were saying, how do you do that loop? But well, once you get to this right here and you make one knot, you just unpull this string out. You pull it out to whatever desired length that you want it to be at, like so. And you just flip it over and then just tie your knot like you normally would. So like I said, I do it in my hand like this and just go one over, one over, one over. That would be the top of the that would be the top of the cross. And if you had the two pieces and you were going to put them together, then you put them you know you put them together, and then you just go out the other way and you go out the other way. So that's how you and then you would put your necklace through the loop right there. You'd make it whichever way you'd want to make it. But anyway, that was that. Anyways, I'm glad to show you a little mobile center here that I've got that I think is pretty cool. Maybe you want to do the same. If you have any ideas? You can take these things with you. Thanks for watching guys. And like I said, I've got Nashville Paracord on Facebook. You want to add me on there and you can see all my other little necklaces and stuff like that that I have made. Oh, with all this other stuff too that you got in here, all these other little things that's inside here, you can make other necklaces like this also, you know. Just go buy all kinds of different beads and all kinds of different little stuff and just every, every chance you get, just go get something else and get some more beads. It doesn't even matter whether you like it or not, just go get it. You know, later on ideas will come to you and you'll you'll say, wow, that's pretty cool. I'll put that in there. I'll add that color in there. I'll do this with that. And then you just add and add and add. I mean, you know, you make a heart, add a necklace, put some beads on, and add something like this hanging from the center of it. You know? And I'll make another video too of how to make this, how to make this heart too. All these things I just haven't gotten around to doing it. It just seems kind of well, what I'm doing, it's kind of a little bit different than making a bracelet or even these you know and then I've other ways of tying this right here also or doubling it up or coming around with it so but anyway like this here like instead of using that part right there I do like this right here for a keychain anyways thanks for watching you guys and uh, I'll be making some more videos